What's up, y'all? I'm Cleo Luria. Welcome back to my channel. And y'all, we got Wendy's breakfast here. I got a little bit of everything. I got a honey butter chicken biscuit sandwich. We got the baconator breakfast sandwich. Oh, my mouth watering. And we got a um, croissant egg and cheese. This one has no meat in it. And then, y'all, before y'all go embarrassing yourself at Wendy's, they do not got grits there, okay? Mmm. Kalia made these grits, okay? I did. And then we got their homestyle potatoes. Wedges up for it. Mmm. I feel like I need some taco sauce, yeah. Yeah, this taco sauce from McDonald's. It's okay. Because them um, potatoes need something. It needs something. And I got honey. Because they forgot my honey. I asked for more honey butter and they didn't give it to me. So we're about to put some on this sandwich. If it want to come out, there we go. Mm. So what's been tea with y'all? Ain't been much going on with me for real, for real. Mm. I'm about to go out of town here in a few. Mm. Weeks. <laughs> mm -hmm. That look good. Mm -hmm. It is good. I got it. I think with American. This one I got was Swiss. I'm trying to move my mirror. See, because I got something on my face. And I couldn't see. Okay. So, y'all. Oh, I thought I heard something. I'm, I'm definitely home alone. Y'all, I've been watching scary little ghost videos. Scaring the hell out of myself. <laughs> For what, I don't know. And any little thing I hear, I'm like, uh-uh, what's that? What's that? This honey just do not want to come out this little container here. Maybe I need to warm it up. This the chicken one, y'all. Chicken. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Okay, <laughs> that was good. Moist. Come on, Wendy's. Mmm. I remember when Wendy's breakfast came out. Definitely did a video on it, y'all. And it was so good. Especially this, the Baconator. Oh, my God. It was so good. Definitely had to get it again. I'm putting in some taco sauce, too. Ooh. Mmm. Mm-mm. I gotta tell y'all some tea, okay? I gotta tell y'all some damn tea. So I'm trying to work this right. Okay, so we gonna say my aunt. My aunt works at this job. Oh, that lemonade good. <clears throat> she works at this job. And she knows this lady. Her name is Stephanie. <clears throat> Excuse me. Stephanie has a child that's the same age as my child. Okay? We're going to call her Carly. Well, we're going to call her... Sydney. Okay? Something different than Kamari because I'm going to get confused. <laughs> So, Sydney and Kamari plays on the internet Roblox all the time, okay? Mm. And sometimes, they go on play dates, okay? Now, there's been plenty of times the mama done flaked and said she was going to take the girl somewhere and didn't. Okay? There's been plenty of times she took them somewhere and all of a sudden I got to go pick her up. 
you know, this is bullshit. Oh, excuse me, just bullshit. So, these motherfucking thick, these uh, motherfucking grits is thick, like me. Okay. <laughs> so she just be just doing a little bullshit, okay, y'all. And recently, my baby father gets a text message. Now, of course. He has her number because it's time to where she has to pick him up from over her house. It's all kind of shit, okay? So, <sighs> yeah, that's too much. He gets a text message one time in the middle of the night, and he opens it, and it's a voice memo from her, from Stephanie, the mama, okay? And it's saying, yeah, you a her bitch. And yeah, this is what you deserve. This is what you get. You ain't nothing but a black bitch. You a nigger bitch, y'all. I mean, going in on that hard ER. Okay. White woman. White as day. Airheaded. Just, just, you know, not stereotyping. <laughs> but she a white girl, okay? Mm. But her baby father's black. That plays a role, y'all. Okay? So. I guess he's the one sent that to everybody in her phone. She didn't get my number saved because I don't really be dealing with her. Like, I just don't deal with people anyway, so. I didn't need a text message, so I was at work. He sent it to me. I was like, what's this about? I'm like, I don't know. Let me hear it. Y'all, I was laughing. I was disgusted and I was angry. I'm like, like, we just went trick-or-treating together, y'all, a few months ago. You know what I'm saying? Like, we were, it was just like, I don't know. I felt real offended, even though she wasn't talking to me. But I'm just like, you're talking about your child. Your child is mixed race with black. So, things aren't really adding up here. I just felt bad for her daughter. So, immediately, baby daddy like, no, I don't want my daughter around. Nobody like that. Sorry, but she got to cut off communication with Sydney. Now, I agree with him. But I'm like, dang, she got to cut off communication with her friend because the mama's racist. But at the end of the day, if they go out somewhere or she go over her house and she get mad that they do something, anything, and she were, it's, it's over. It's fucking over, y'all. So, mm. We cut off communication, okay? Now, we didn't tell Kamari what was going on. We just, like, deleted the girl from the robot, Roblox. Oh, that's good. <coughs> Excuse me. So... Come to think about it, I'm like, none of the girls got the this message, but he sent it to the guys. You know, like, my baby father got it, but my my aunt and me didn't get the message. So, I don't know. I don't know. It was some revengeful stuff at the end of the day, but still. You shouldn't have said it. Like, why are you even talking like that? And you don't want to claim she's not the art writer. So, uh, oh, excuse me. So, there's some things going on. At work with my aunt and Stephanie, you know, I, I don't really know because I'm not in, in that. But lately, I guess Kamari ended up finding um, Sydney or Sydney ended up finding Kamari again on Roblox. So um, I was there listening to the conversation because it's like out loud on the iPad. I was doing Kamari hair at the time. So I knew she was talking to Sydney. So I didn't really have a problem with it because they're playing online. It's cool. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I hear Stephanie in the background just being hella weird, y'all. Talking about some, does Kamari parents know you're talking to, to you? And all that kind of stuff. Like, telling her daughter to ask that. And then we'll say, okay, tell Kamari you miss her. Tell Kamari you're her best friend. Like, I'm hearing her say all this shit in the background. Like, this is dumb. Just dumb. So, I'm just thinking in my head like she's just weird. 
Mm. So Sydney Burke that was coming up, I think it was yesterday actually. And she went to um, Grave Wolf Lodge, which is like an indoor water park in Ohio. So, she just kept asking Kamari, ask Kamari, can she go to your party? Can she go to your party? Ask Kamari, can she go to your party? And I would tell Kamari, tell her, no. It's not happening. For one, Kamari's uncle got real ill from COVID and pneumonia. Like... <clears throat> About to pull the plug, okay? He's slowly making a recovery, thank God. So his dad, which lives in Alabama, came, drove all the way up here. So her granddad's in town. So she's not about to, you know, keep leaving him when he's in town. And also her cousin that lives in Kentucky birthday party today, and my mom is gonna take her down there. So she's busy. So I kept telling her, no, no, she's not coming. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, um. Honey, let me eat my grits, because you know these motherfuckers can't get cold. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. So then, I'm telling her no, no, no. It just got weird, so I'm like, come on, tell her you gotta go. You gotta go, because it was just being too weird. I'm hearing her background, coaching her daughter on what to say. And I already know it's some, it's some type of beef. Not necessarily beef, but... It's beef, okay, going on with my aunt and her, so. I love him with nothing to do with you, so. You know, so, we had to cut that again. Same time to her since. Um, I'm gonna try to get some more tea on what's going on at work, though, with them. And I'll update y'all, but word did get around the job. She got suspended for a minute. Y'all, it's a lot. <laughs> it's just a whole lot, a whole lot of, mm. Mm, mm, mm. This is bomb. Mm. I didn't even eat this sandwich, y'all. Like, I'm so focused on these two sandwiches because they're so damn good. I didn't even see this one back here. Y'all, this one is a croissant egg and cheese. Ain't got no meat in it. Um, It's got honey butter, so... Let's just go ahead and get into it real quick. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -mm. <laughs> Them nose rings come out my nose. I don't know if I got like a little small nose. I don't know. Them nose rings just don't stay in. Oh, that's good. Like, on my way to work, if I or after a workout, I want something light. I would definitely get this croissant egg and cheese. I would take the bun off because it's not really needed. Yeah, I wouldn't need that, but yeah, Wendy's breakfast good and they make it with real eggs. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna try to get fat fat. And Brittany on my channel soon. They birthdays just passed. Um, I'm gonna tell y'all about the birthday next time. Oh, cause y'all he got so drunk. He always get drunk on his birthday. It's so much fun. Um, <coughs> see me. Brittany's birthday coming up. Her dirty thirty coming up on March 24th. So I got a lot going on here. Baby girl birthday. Next weekend, March 11th, we are having a hotel pool party for her, so that's going to be fun. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know down in the comments what y'all would do if y'all daughter was in this predicament. Would y'all let her still have, you know, be friends with her after finding out that her mama is a racist? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, let's get into it. Comment down below, and I'm going to catch y'all in my next video. Peace.